today we're going to test and review a Tesla to J1772 charger from EV Base. In a couple of months, we're going to do a repeat of our Texas to Tennessee road trip and back, except this time we're going to go the southern route on the way there through Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama on our way to eastern Tennessee. Last year we couldn't do it, there wasn't enough uh, DC fast charging, but there is now to make the trip possible and we're going to give it a shot. We are going to stop halfway at a hotel with destination charging so we can charge up overnight while we sleep when we were going to be doing that anyway. And sometimes those hotels don't have J1772 plugs. You need to have an adapter because they'll only have Tesla destination chargers with the NACS plug. So that's where this comes in. This is the adapter from EV Base. Now this company sent this to me uh, to test out. It is available for $99. And if you put in the promo code SPINNER, if you decide to purchase this, you put in the promo code SPINNER, you're, you'll get 15% off. But let's review it and you'll see what it can do. Uh, it's very small, fits in the palm of my hand. So this would fit in the center console, uh, could fit in the glove box. It's not going to take up a whole lot of room. J1772 on this end, Tesla or NACS on this end. It is uh, rated as IP54 for ingress protection. Uh, the five means that it's got good dust protection. Uh, it's not dust proof, but it has good dust protection. The four means that it can uh, withstand water spray. Uh, don't, I mean, you wouldn't want to spray a hose on it, but if it's, if it's a medium to light rain, uh, it'll work just fine outdoors as well. Uh, EV Base offers this with a full two year warranty on their website as well. And I'll put the uh, link to this product down in the description. So you can see how big it is. It, it fits in the palm of my hand and our dog's a little upset that we're standing over here, sorry. Uh, J1772 on this end, the Tesla NACS on this end. This button here releases the lock for the plug from the charger and this one will release it from the car itself. So let's go ahead and do a quick check in on car scanner just to give you some stats. Right now we're at a 52.16% state of charge. It's uh, the battery temp is reading 93.2 ambient air temperature. Wake the car up. It says it's 116.6. Not accurate. It's just because the car is sitting and we've got a little bit of greenhouse going on. It's 98 according to my watch. So let's go ahead and get ourselves plugged in. So this is an official Tesla destination charger. It shows up on the Tesla app as an available charger for a non-Tesla, but uh, these, these are the Tesla uh, EVSEs, but the page here, uh, the, this big fancy sign is just a piece of paper that's uh, taped up. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, get the cable, one coil it just a little bit. Now let's just uncoil a lot. And then what we're gonna do is lock it into the adapter. So we take the, this plug here, boom, it's in. And now it's secure. So it, it's in, it's locked. Following the instructions on the app, we're gonna come around here and plug in. So we'll get the charge port opens. Okay, so we are now plugged into the car. So I'm going to go to uh, my Tesla app. Tap on charge my non-Tesla. And searching, searching, nearby chargers. We're at a place called the workplace. I'm gonna say charge here and scan QR code. The QR code is right here. Plug in to start and we're plugged in. I just got to click over here. There's the telltale beep from the car. It, what was taking a while was for my camera to read the little itty bitty teeny tiny QR code. So let's see how we're doing. We're up to seven and a half. And right there, we seem to be kind of leveling off uh, at 7.62 uh, kilowatt hours going into the car. I'm going to go ahead and start our 10 minute timer and we'll 
see how it's uh, see how it's going at five minutes, and then we'll get the last minute on, and we'll keep monitoring the adapter for heat or anything like that. Right now, it's just warm because it's almost 100 degrees out here, and it's in direct sunlight. So it's going to be it's going to be warm. This is the plug that we're not using. It has that green light on saying that it's ready. The one that we're using, if you haven't seen these before, we, this is the first time that we've seen it, gives us that little status bar that it's got power flowing just to let you know that it's working. There's no display or anything, so that's what it'll tell you. We are coming up on five minutes into our charge. Uh, pull that up on the timer. Let's see where we're at. Uh, it is at now, the car now is at 52.55% state of charge. We are at 8.8 kilowatts going in right now. Uh, battery temp is up to 95 degrees. Ambient air temperature, it still says it's 116. Watt still says it's 98. The Tesla plug is kind of warm, but it just feels like something black that's in the sun. And the adapter does not feel any warmer than the Tesla plug. They feel the exact same temperature according to my palm thermometer. Uh, we'll check back in when we get close to the end of our 10 minute charge and see how far we got. Where we're at is a work sharing location in Granbury, Texas called The Workplace. And if you, uh, and this is a good public level two charger, it's close to the downtown shops and all of that. Uh, the main drag of Granbury is on the other end of this alley and your GPS is only gonna take you to the front and you're not gonna see the chargers from there. There are houses on both sides of this office building. So you have to go in a side street over here to the next street off of the main drag, which is Pearl, and find your way back into this driveway to where you'll see the two Tesla plugs. 30 seconds to go in our 10 minute clip, and you can hear the cooling fans on the car have kicked on. It's not because of an excess amount of electricity coming into the, from the charger, it's a level two charger. The car can take 11 kilowatts. Right now it's getting close to nine. Um, the adapter, as I mentioned, is rated up to 80 amps. These chargers, according to PlugShare, have been delivering as high as 48. We're not getting that right now, um, but I, the car can only take 11 kilowatts, and right now, according to, there's our timer, um, it has actually throttled down to three kilowatts because of the heat. Ambient air temperature's reading 114.8, 53.73% uh, uh, state of charge, so we picked up a couple of percent in, that, uh, in those 10 minutes. Haven't charged at a destination charger yet. Ah, there's a button that says stop charging. The Tesla app is saying we got 1.731 kilowatt hours. It's 70 cents a kilowatt hour here. Um, and we're getting nine kilowatts from the charger. So I'm gonna hit stop charging. Charging is stopped. Fans just clicked off, the progress lights off. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and unplug and give some final thoughts. Depress this lever here, out it comes. We can close the charge port, push this button, and that's all there is to it. And this is a lot hotter than this. Now, this, this is holding, has more heat than here. I think this little rubber insulation actually helps. This when I'm feeling the metal, and, or it's, yeah, no, it's, it's just a harder plastic. And it, it's, this is warmer. This is a good, this is a good few, 10 degrees warmer than this is right now. So that is our review of the EV Base Tesla to J1772 connector. It's available on the EV Base website. I'll put the link down in the description as well as my affiliate link. It's available for $99 with a two year warranty, 80 amp charger, IP54 rated for outdoor use. If you enter the code SPINNER, if you decide to purchase this and enter the code SPINNER, you'll get 15% off your purchase. Um, I didn't intend on making a commercial, but this thing worked as advertised. Uh, it puts power into the car and will be very handy on our upcoming road trip. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more content.